Dolphins football is back, man. Um, finally, after months of waiting, the Dolphins had their first preseason game last night against the Bucks in Tampa. Um, we came out with the win, 26-24, uh, in a wild ending. Um, Jose Braglis, his name, I think, was kicker out of UM. Um, Bucks were set up, they were down by uh, 2, 26-24 was the score at the time, and had the chance to get the game-winning kickoff. Uh, McDaniel iced him, made the practice kick, and then went wide right, or not wide right, hit the crossbar, um, and Dolphins came out with the win, luckily. So it was fun watching that game, seeing kind of some young guys' backups play. This was the list of inactives. I actually need to pull it up um, up here. Uh, very long list, not going to be naming everybody, but led by Tua Tagovailoa, Tyree Kill, Jay Lovato, Xavier Howard, Javon Holland. Basically, 90% of the starters, I will say, did not play. Some notable guys that did play, um, Jalen Phillips played for a little bit, Cedric Wilson played for the first half, Van Ginkle was out there. Um, and then some of the young offense linemen, and everybody but Teron Armstead and Connor Williams on the line, on the starting line, um, which is Robert Hunt, Austin Jackson, and Liam Eichenberg saw the field for some time. Solomon Kinley actually played pretty good. Um, I think I saw a stat per PFF where he, out of the 23 snaps he played, I think he didn't let a single, um, single guy get through, single pressure on the QB, which is really good to see. And speaking of the QB, Skylar Thompson. Let's talk about him for a second. Um, surprised that Teddy Bridgewater didn't see the field. He was not on uh, this list, or maybe it's gone by now. He was not on the list of inactives, um, and he just didn't see the field. Well, from the sideline he did, but he wasn't playing last night at all. Skylar Thompson was in for the whole entire game. Um, he looked good. He looked really good. And um, I'll pull the stat sheet right now, which should be up on the screen. But um, he went 20 for 28, 218 yards and a touchdown. Uh, which is really good for a rookie quarterback in his first preseason game. I think it's the best performance in franchise history for a rookie quarterback in maybe a preseason game, which is, you know, really narrowing it down. But still, he played pretty good nevertheless. Um, Lynn Bowden Jr. had a pretty nice game. Three receptions for 55 yards and a touchdown. Had that one, uh, had one long catch for almost 30 yards and then a separate one for a deep touchdown late in the first half with, um, going into halftime. Um, Mohamed Sanu also had a pretty nice game, three receptions for 39 yards with another long pass for going for 26. Um, but going back to Limboden for a second, I think that th what this game showed last night is that if he has the opportunities in real-time games, in regular season games, I think he can deliver, especially in a Mike McDaniel uh, type offense where it's running and, you know, these special design plays inside zone. Um, I think that Limboden can really be successful. So in this case... Um, with Tyree Kill, Jim Lawaddle, Cedric Wilson only playing for some of the snaps. Um, Lim Bowden Jr. was basically wide receiver one, and he played really, really well. So, um, and then also going back to Mike McDaniel, um, if he can make Skylar Thompson look this good, I'm just thinking of what he can do for Tua. Um, Skylar Thompson, like I just said, played with Lim Bowden as his number one receiver, and in this case, in the regular season, Tua Tungvalu is going to be playing with Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle and Cedric Wilson. That's three of the best uh, yards after catch receivers in the league. Also, not to mention Trent Sherfield, Eric, Eric Izukama, I want to say, um, and Mohamed Sanu. And I think that uh, Tua can really flourish with Mike McDaniel in this offense. Only based off of this first game, I know it's a bit of a stretch, but we've seen it before what he did in San Francisco with Garoppolo. Um, First year as an offensive coordinator, or not first year, but he was the quarterback's coach and brought uh, helped Garoppolo lead the 49ers to the Super Bowl. Not saying that he's going to help Tua lead the Dolphins to the Super Bowl, but I think that this can really be a playoff team. And on the defensive side, um, the guy I was really most excited to see play today, one was Channing Tindall, who was the third round pick out of Georgia. The speedy linebacker uh, was also Trill Williams, who I'm going to talk about in later um, later in this video, but um, I want to say it was Cameron Good, the seventh round pick, um, who forced the fumble at the end of the first half where Sam McGuavin picked it up and scored. Um, really nice play by the defense. You could see Josh Boyer was Josh Boyer was hyped up after that. Um, I'm, again, I'm not really sure who forced the fumble. I do want to say it was Cameron Good, um, but Noe Benogany really has not been impressive throughout the whole entire offseason training camp, OTAs. Uh, even in the, just this preseason game, he let up a touchdown, and it looked like he was playing safety on that play. With how far back he was on that receiver, 
you could really just see that he got burnt. He was not really sure what he was doing out there. Um, so it was pretty certain. He was fighting for a roster spot. It wasn't even certain that he was going to make this roster um, and that True Williams was most likely going to finish ahead of him. But um, we'll move on to the news, unfortunately, that came out this morning. I did want to wait, by the way. I forgot to mention that. Um, I had I was going to make a review after the game last night, but I did want to wait for the news to come out about True Williams. It really wasn't looking in a good direction. It was really just hoping for the best. But it did come out this morning, um, first reported by Doug Kayed, um, up on the screen right now. It said Dolphins cornerback True Williams tore his ACL in last night's preseason game per source. Unfortunate injury for a player who had impressed in training camp. Um, like I said, a lot of guy, a lot of guys who had a nice training camp. But True Williams was one of the most um, eye-opening guys who was playing great out there. Was really looking like he was going to be securing that cornerback number four spot behind Xavier Howard, Byron Jones, and Nick Needham. Um, then Barry Jackson followed up here now by saying True Williams' examination of need did reveal terror per source, unfortunate development for a rising second-year player. Um, Dolphins looking for another cornerback. So Barry Jackson, who has some inside sources usually, um, basically says that the Dolphins will be looking for another cornerback to add to the roster, most likely to add some competition towards the uh, towards the last couple weeks of the preseason. Um, right now, the depth chart at cornerback would be number one being Xavier Howard, Byron Jones at two, Nick Needham at three. I would say Noah Igbenogany is now basically a lock to make the roster at number four. Elijah Campbell at five and Keon Cross and at six, like I said, um, who had a pretty impressive game last night. Had one amazing uh, de pass deflection on Scotty Miller, who's one of the fastest players in the league. So love to see that. Um, another, another thing to mention is that Brendan Jones used to play cornerback and switched to safety in October of 2020, which was... Um, I guess during the Brian Flores era, so he thought it would be better to play safety. Brandon Jones has been playing really well at safety and has been playing better at that position, so good for him. But I think if it's needed to, he can go back to quarterback. Brian Flores did mention, sorry, not not, not Brian Flores. Mike McDaniel did mention in his interview today that um, if it's needed to, uh, it's not really looking, they're not really looking at doing it right now, but Brandon Jones will not be going back to cornerback just yet. Uh, they're going to be looking at some guys and this list right here uh, from Spot Rack are the top available cornerbacks. Trey Waynes, Joe Hayden, Chris Harris, Janoris Jenkins, Kevin King, and Xavier Rhodes are the top couple guys. Um, I do expect the Dolphins to bring at least one of, not, not necessarily those guys, but at least a one or two um, cornerbacks who have experience in the past and can really maybe add another veteran player to that cornerback group. Um... But, man, I was really looking forward to watching True Williams this season. Very disappointing to see him go out this way. He'll be out for the whole entire season, obviously. Um, and this is really, this is exactly the reason why the Dolphins didn't play most of those guys. Um, True Williams, like I said, disappointing to see a rising player go down like that. But we just have to say, at least it's not a guy like Xavier Howard or Tua Tonga-Vailoa or Jalen Waddle or Tyree Kill um, out of those guys that did not play. But that will wrap up the video. Um, Dolphins preseason week one ended out with the bang, except for the Trill Williams injury. Um, next week, we play the Raiders week two. We'll have my AFC South record predictions coming out tomorrow. Um, so the second video out of the eight that will be out before the season starts. But that'll wrap up. See you in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.